get a pot of water you want to use a uh, covered saute pan you don't want to use these large pots here okay because you're going to use about three gallons of water it's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to get hot this will work a lot faster uh, let more surface space less water boils in about five minutes much better for this than these large pans here that they have these stock pots okay get some ice water ready along with the spider after the water comes to a rolling boil add your bucatini pasta right in using your tongs stir it up make sure that the water completely covers the pasta if you want to use a lid you can this will work fine as long as you keep your water level above the pasta you should be good and just give it a little stir just to get it going and this should take anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes after about 10 minutes you could put it in your ice water if you um, you can use your tongs or if you want strain it um, you can strain it but reserve some of your pasta water because you're going to be using that okay so strain it into another bowl and we're cooking this what they call al dente which means to the tooth because we're actually going to cook it again and that will cook it up thoroughly so just make sure you get all of it and then it's into your ice water there for the garlic butter combine two ounces of uh, softened butter one teaspoon of granulated garlic one tablespoon of grated Parmesan cheese, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground black pepper, and a pinch of ground paprika. Then you get a couple of uh, French rolls or hoagie rolls. Cut them in half. Make sure your knife is sharp, otherwise you'll need to use a serrated knife. Get your garlic butter, place on the roll. You could also top it with uh, Parmesan, there is Parmesan already in here. Just like this. There you go, you're going to place this in a 425 degree oven or you can put it under the broiler okay if you put it under the broiler it shouldn't take you more than maybe two minutes and then you're basically toasting and uh, when you this is what your garlic bread will look like after you place it in an oven roughly a 425 degree oven for five to eight minutes or you can go under the broiler and the broiler will only take roughly about two minutes For the alfredo sauce, you're going to need two tablespoons of butter, one clove of garlic, three tablespoons of flour, eight ounces of chicken stock, one uh, teaspoon of chicken base, that's optional, four ounces of heavy cream, salt and pepper to taste, and a pinch of nutmeg. Okay, the first thing you want to do for your alfredo sauce, get your pot going, you're going to add your butter. Melt it slowly, do not um, let it burn on you. Butter has a low smoking point, okay? Then you're gonna add your garlic to that. And again, you're just barely going to melt that butter. And then you're gonna cook that garlic. And again, don't overcook the garlic or it'll be really bitter. 
So adjust your flame. Once you got that going, you can start to smell that garlic toasting. You're going to add your flour. And your flour and your butter is a root. Okay, so that's a thickening agent. So again, we're going to combine these two together. Again, this is your thickening agent, your root. Forms a little paste. Okay, and this is what's going to thicken your sauce. Okay, for the Alfredo, again, I'm using uh, Bucatini, but it all works the same with uh, fettuccine or linguine. You're going to grab some of that Alfredo sauce. Place it in your pan. Then you're going to get your pasta, add it in. Make sure you don't add it to the. Uh, make sure you add it to the pan and not the table. Okay. So again, if you're using a Teflon pan, you want to avoid using any. You want to avoid using any um, metal on that. So use your rubber spatula to mix it up or pop it. Okay, so I'm going to add some more sauce. Use your sauce here. Just like that. Make sure it's nice and if it's a little too thick for you, add a little more broth or water to it and then season it with salt and pepper. Okay. So there you go there. And then make sure you heat it all the way through. Add your salt and pepper. Again, be careful when you add your salt and pepper because your water is going to be salted. Add some Parmesan. And you have fettuccine or bucatini alfredo. Okay, and then finally just plate it up. Again, get your alfredo, place it into the bowl, make it look nice. Kind of twist. Okay. And I've got some garlic bread. Cut off the ends if you choose. Go this way. Top it with a little fresh parm. And you can hit it with some fresh basil. And there you go, fettuccine alfredo.